Hello and welcome to this our webcast summarising the events of the second day of our annual delegate conference for 2014 down here in the New Park Hotel in Kilkenny. Well we really had a busy packed agenda today with 300 delegates uh, examining a range of issues. I suppose the central theme was the adoption of our safe staffing campaign, the launch of our safe staffing campaign, which essentially involves introducing or demanding the introduction of a systemic approach to staffing, not just leaving it to chance, not just leaving it to the ebb and flow of, of staff coming and going, but to have it scientifically proven. And the core elements of the campaign are that there should be one nurse to four patients at busy times in acute medical wards. Uh, other uh, staffing levels should be determined by measurement of an agreed dependency tool. Care of the elderly should be a 60-40 uh, skill mix, 60% registered nurse, 40% trained healthcare assistant and we've commissioned some research for, to determine staffing levels in the community. The whole, if you like, launch was embellished further by a, a brilliant presentation from Judith Canuda from New South Wales Nursing and Midwifery Association. They just completed this campaign for one in four. I think she captivated the whole uh, uh, conference by explaining how they did it, the various strands of their campaign. Now, summary, summaries of, of Judith's speech and the whole debate on the staffing levels will be appearing on our website in due course. So please watch it because this is going to become a central theme of the organization's activities over the next 12, 18, 24 months. No one's saying we can do it overnight, but do it we will so that we have safe practice uh, and safe nursing care in the interest of all patients. A second major part of today's conference was obviously the address from our president, Claire Mahan. And in that address, a wide-ranging address, she reflected upon the, the past year, the challenges. Uh, Claire quite clearly said it was the most difficult, if not the most difficult year we've had. And then she covered other areas about the safe practice, about we want our money back after Haddington Road, we want our shorter working week back, that you know, nurses and midwives have played their part, now government must play its part. And we also spoke about the safe practice and the other support systems. So a very wide-ranging address from Claire. Again, the text of that address can be found on our website. Also uh, today, we adopted an emergency motion uh, in relation to the, the terrible atrocity of the kidnapping of 200 young girls in Nigeria. Uh, and the motion was expressing solidarity with the girls and their families, calling upon uh, the Irish government to give practical aid to the Nigerian government to, find, to help find them and bring them back to their families. But also the motion and the debate spoke about the general approach to females in society, the fact that they're often, you know, the whole red light campaign, turn off the red light campaign here in Ireland, and the exploitation of women and how, as an organisation that's primarily women in membership, we have to be to the forefront of campaigning for justice and equity in all societies for women. Then in, in the normal conference debate, we had a range of motions, ranging from uh, re redeployment and the question of competency framework, the, the Nursing and Military Board of Ireland was, was discussed, the whole issue of um, staffing levels and, 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 and so on. And then we had other motions which spoke about the, the social policy and the international nurses section uh, and the treatment of, 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 of those people in this community, how sometimes our laws without meaning to be can be unfair upon them if they want to travel when they're pregnant and so on. So again, the motions were, were wide-ranging, they're all summarised on, on the website. Very, very invigorating day. I think the, the launch of the Safe Staffing campaign, that's going to be our mainstay uh, as we go forward. I think it was very uplifting for everyone. It gave us all reason to believe, reason to hope, reason to say we can do. So, look at the website, look at the details, stay in tune. We'll be doing another update tomorrow uh, on the third and final day of conference where we elect presidents and so on and we have uh, an address uh, from the Minister. So thank you for your time. Please pay attention to the website. Keep informed. Let's keep solid. Let's have the courage. Let's deliver safe patient care through our safe staffing campaign. Thank you.